Hello everyone, my name is Coach Angie. You're watching the Council of Coaches on Clean Money Media. And it's always a pleasure and an honor to be here with you. Today I wanna to talk about the bamboo. You know, when you plant a bamboo plant, they say, it takes like five years before the actual plant or the actual bamboo comes forth and that talks of patience first you have to trust that what you planted is actually growing but the bamboo has to develop very strong roots and very strong foundations before it sprouts up and then it's very productive because when it comes up it keeps coming it keeps coming it can be it will give you a harvest like for 10 years non-stop moving tall very tall shoots you know strong can be used for so many things but five years of patience five years of nothing coming out of the ground i mean it's ridiculous can you imagine you'd be always staring at it and you're like i planted something five years it's taken and there's i can't even show anything for it and i love that there were even some people who started a bamboo project where they they actually i think they were actually planting bamboos and so they said if you invest your money it will take like five years before you get it back and that's good you know because you need to invest in something. But I want to talk about this actual planting. Because you see, it doesn't matter, right now I'm talking about the bamboo, but it can be any seed. Once you plant a seed, you cannot now keep coming back and doing the ground to see whether it's growing. There's a trust that has to go in with the planting. So whatever you're doing, whether you're doing business, studying something new, whether you're starting a new career, first remember I told you life is lived out in five year cycles. So let the five year cycle play out number one number two if you make an investment wait for it to grow and to come back don't be in a hurry for it to come back I love the other day somebody was telling me about um, somebody who's opened a new business in one of the new malls and um, they said that they've come and they've planned for two years of failure I love that they've planned they've put it into their business plan into their finances that for two years they're not expected to make a profit they don't even expect it to break even. You see, that's a good attitude for business. Instead of, I want to start the business tomorrow and reap tomorrow. No way. I want to start the relationship tomorrow and I want it to be a mature relationship tomorrow. Never. I want to start a job tomorrow and be earning five times, I, I, I don't know, 5,000, I don't know which salaries. People. No, things take time. You've got to start somewhere. If, you, if you're coming into an organization, You've got to start somewhere and be the best where you are so that you can progress. Five year cycles are good as I refer to the bamboo so that you're always, by the time you get to the third year, you're evaluating. Four year, you're evaluating. Then you're planning for the change that is going to take place. So it doesn't just catch you by surprise. You can't be one of those people who live and life just happens and five years have gone by and you have no idea what happened in the five years. You cannot account for it. You have no fruit. There's nothing that happened in five years, life just happened. Neither can you go around in a drunken stupor. Because that's all the five years we represent, a drunken stupor. I was drunk every weekend with my friends for five years. So now, how does that change anything? And then you're the same one complaining, my life never changes. How is it supposed to change if you don't make the investment? How is life supposed to change? And that bamboo plant, by the way, you have to keep watering it. Nothing is happening, you're still watering it. You can see nothing. So I don't know whether I'm helping you. I, I hope I am. You know, if you're going to start a business, wait for the business to do its time. Plan for the business to do its time. If you're going to start something new, give it five years and work on it and work on yourself in that five years. If you're coming into a new department, say in five years, these are the milestones I want to have accomplished. This is where I want to be. And if, you, if you're not there, you need to start strategizing about a possible solution to get you where you want to be but I think what that is talking is telling us to be still to be patient and to build strong foundations that then will build things that will will sustain and will will outlive us and will outlast us and will be generational because we were patient about it and put in the right structures and the right systems and plan for when the bamboo is coming up after five years what am I going to do because unexpected increase and this we have seen even by people who have won the lottery causes a lot of problems so you must plan even for the increase god bless bye bye
next time on Clean Money Tuesday. Today I want to talk about financing and budgeting and making a budget and making a plan. From the first time I got my first job, I took a piece of paper and I wrote my salary and then I listed everything that I'd done with my salary for that month and then I took the receipts and then I stapled them together. I can track every shilling that I've ever spent. That's called stewardship. That's called stewardship. And once you are a steward and responsible with your money, you will receive more. Why we do a budget and why we make a plan is because there's accountability which is needed. This is Clean Money TV.